Hi guys, I'm Ronnie from Monty Stout. Today we're doing taste. We're doing what? We're doing my rice meatballs, which is really great. It's an Italian meatball that I love that my father taught me. But I have been picking up some ideas from one of my favorite chefs, and his Instagram is hot aggressive cuisine. It's right down there. Check him out, he's really cool. So here is a picture of what we're going to be cooking with. Our beef, string beans, and squash, and rice, and our marinated sauce. So, we have our beef, we have our pork, and we have our veal. Now we're going to chop up our thyme, rosemary, and basil. We're going to pour that into our bowl, and we're going to mix our Parmesan cheese. This is great. Let's get to shredding. Now we're going to mix with both hands very easy and make our balls. Let's make our meatballs. Now we're going to make our meatballs and we're going to make at least eight of them. Now that that's done, we're going to what? We're going to saute them. So now we have our marinara sauce, our rice that we're going to use later. And we're going to turn the stove on to at least a medium and our oil is already in the pan and we're going to place all of our meatballs into the cast iron pan. The cast iron pan holds the flavor and we're going to saute them and we're going to turn them until they are all nice and brown. And when they get nice and brown, you know what that means? That means we just have to do what? Add our rice that's already cooked and our breadcrumbs. So we're going to take our meatballs that have been sautéed and, and add our rice. We're going to take the rice and squeeze it onto the meatball. That has olive oil in it. And now we're going to take our breadcrumbs and put it on top of the rice and squeeze tightly and place onto our baking pan. This is so simple, guys. So now that we have our last meatball done, what are we going to do? We're going to place it in the oven at 375. So let's place it in and let's get started on our other ingredients. So now we're going to chop up our tomatoes into half and place them into our string beans. Because we're going to stir fry them. But first we're going to chop our yellow squash and we're going to slice them into one quarter of an inch. This is so easy, guys. Because we're going to bake them. Well, actually roast them. We're going to spray our pan first, and then, let me show you what they look like. You see that? And we're going to place them on the pan so we can put them on the side after we season them. Now let's start on what? We're going to cut some more herbs and place into our tomatoes and string beans. We're going to use the oil that has been cooked for the meatballs for flavor and add our herbs and we're going to saute. Now that that's done, we're going to place that to the side. We're going to remove our meatballs and roast our squash so for guys, three minutes. Let's play. Everything is coming perfect. So first thing we're gonna do is get our marinara sauce. And we're gonna put it into a bowl. You just need a spoonful. Now if your meatballs have came out broken, it's okay. Some of them are solid, some of them are not. I say the best ones are the broken ones. Because you can serve the good ones to your guests. So I'm gonna pick up a broken one. That's good. 
Everything's good. I gotta go, guys, because I need some red wine. Can't go. This is great. Bye, guys. Stay down. Small now.